what up what up my squad it is saturday afternoon and it has been a couple weeks since i've uh uploaded a video my last video was kind of a goodbye for now um because i i needed to walk away for a little while just to figure out uh what i wanted to do and to kind of do some stuff uh for myself um and, and kind of working some stuff out and I was contacted by uh, a few people um, after I uploaded that video and the consensus was if I was just reaching um, one person um, that should be good enough and, and they're right um, there are several people who have enjoyed the videos I've had some people uh, stop in and uh, view some of my videos so that has been nice but anyway let's get right to it um yesterday my neighbor uh came over and shared um his newest hunt with me and yes you read the uh title correctly squirrel and rice so we were uh talking yesterday and a couple of days ago i saw him um in his backyard uh blow torching an animal and from where I am in comparison to where he was, I wasn't quite sure what it was, but I could see it. It was four-legged and small, and I wasn't quite sure what it was. So when I saw him outside yesterday, I asked him uh, what it was he was uh, doing the other day, and he said he went on a hunt for squirrels. Now, I didn't know this was a thing. I didn't know that people hunted for squirrels, not here in California. Um, needless to say, he said he had to have a license and a permit and like all these things to go squirrel hunting. Um, there's like a limit of four. He showed me some pictures of these squirrels and I didn't really know what to say. But a few hours later, he came by and uh, brought me some squirrel meat. Um, I wasn't quite sure whether I could do this or not. Um, just the thought of eating a squirrel um, is a little off-putting to me, um, but I've had a couple people tell me that it was good, that they've tried it before. It does uh, kind of look like maybe some Asian beef or something. Um, he did bring over some sticky rice to go with it. Um, I do have a, a, a Mike's Hard a Black Cherry drink to wash it down just in case I can't get through this. Um, I probably am not going to uh, eat all of this. Uh, it looks a little gritty and oh my god I think that that is the squirrel tail. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to do this or not but I'm sure not going to be eating that. Um, yeah I don't I don't know. It's looks a little gritty um i did give a piece to the dogs yesterday and uh they scarfed it down and were looking for more and i was telling someone um yesterday that i did that and i said i could just see my page um she likes to chase the squirrels when they come in the yard and now that she's tasted it i could just see her trying to catch these squirrels because she wants me to cook them for her to eat but uh with no further to do, let's uh, see what we got here. I I just I just don't know um, if I'm gonna be able to uh, do this or not. Mm. That's just pretty. I I can't imagine that they have much meat on them but since he gave me the tail I can almost imagine that maybe this is a whole squirrel I don't really know um, I'm having a hard time with this that is a freaking paw um, I'm not probably gonna be able to do this and I don't know if you could see it but I think that's a leg and a foot because it feels like claws um, I just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Um, wow. 
Yeah, and there's not uh, much meat meat here. Um, let's see, that might be a little something I could try. It smells really gamey, um, and I don't, you know, if you've ever had, like I've had bear, rabbit, um, deer, and it kind of smells gamey like that. But here we go. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I wouldn't quite say it tastes like chicken. Um, it is gamey though. Um, they, they did season it up really well. Not too bad. Um, I don't know if I would want this often. Um, but it tastes all right. And maybe again, that's because of the seasoning on it. Um, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't quite know what to do with this. Um, I would say that it's not making me uh, sick. It's not uh, tasting gross or anything. Um, unfortunately, I think this is the kind of thing that uh, if you've had it a lot, you might eat this like you would chicken or pork chops and really tear into it and get the meat off the bones. But since this is a first time, I'm kind of picking through it. Um, but again, it tastes all right. I think I'm, I'm good though, because I keep looking down and seeing this tail um, and this paw. And I think I'm good. So there you have it, my first uh, experience with squirrel. I'd say if you have the opportunity to try it, it's not too bad. Um, you know, it's meat. Uh, if you can get past the fact that it's a squirrel, um, you, you might do all right. Uh, there you go, my first video back and it's a food video and it is my first experience with squirrel um it's all right so like i said if, if you have the opportunity to try it and you find someone who could uh cook it up real good my uh neighbor is um someone who used to own a restaurant so there may be some difference in in the taste of it this is a uh, very well seasoned and it's a little spicy um so that that might help in uh making it taste all right so at least now i'll be able to tell them i did try it um i would prefer not to have uh any more at this point but uh not too bad i you know i'm proud of myself for at least taking the step uh to try it so i don't know it, it's all right. Anyway, have a fantastic day. Thank you for sharing this experience with me. Uh, look out. Maybe I'll start uploading some more videos. We'll talk to you soon. Be somebody who makes somebody look forward to tomorrow. Peace out. God bless. Just in case you didn't see, here is a close-up um, of what looks like the tail. And... Uh, the paw yeah do you see the foot yeah that's not working for me